This afternoon, UW Athletics is investigating an incident involving a Badger football player after he was arrested over the weekend. Plus, a manhunt continues in Texas for a man who shot and killed five of his neighbors. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. The UW Athletic Department says it's gathering information about the arrest of one of its star players. Wide receiver Marcus Allen was arrested during the Mifflin Street block party. Allen has not officially been charged, but faces potential charges of being armed while intoxicated. It's News 3 Now's policy not to name individuals before they've been charged, but we're making an exception in this case, given Allen's notoriety. Madison police say 10,000 people attended the party. 44 were arrested and four were booked into the Dane County Jail, including one man with a stolen gun in his backpack. It's not clear whether that arrest is related to Allen's. Allen was released from jail after he was bailed out. He'll be in court on June 26. Police did not release the names of the three others booked into jail, saying more information would come today. Allen played six games for the Badgers last season, scoring his first career touchdown during a win over Northwestern. Be the first to know as we learn more information about this story by downing our, downloading our News 3 Now news app. It's free to download in your app store. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Greg Barnhart has a look at this lovely May weather. It is May, isn't it? It's May 1st. So yes, it does feel like May out there, doesn't it? But overall, we've still got the influences of this low pressure system that continues to wrap around moisture, strong north winds, but we are seeing some breaks further west in the cloud cover. Unfortunately, that's not going to make much of a change in the temperatures with that northwest wind continuing at 15 to 20 miles per hour. We've had gusts near 30. That'll be really the story of the day is the wind. So much less of the precipitation as it begins to move out. You can see we're kind of on the western edge of the actual rainfall and or snow as you go further north. If we zoom in, we're just seeing occasional light rain here, basically from Dane County East. It changes to a little bit of snow as you go further north. Well north, they actually had several inches. I think places in Oneida County well to the north had six to eight inches of snow on this first day of May. And that's kind of your snow accumulations. A few little trace amounts up and down, but you have to get towards Green Bay to get further north. Future track shows the precipitation kind of tapering off, even from Madison eastward through this evening areas to the west are not expected to see anything the one story will be the temperatures will not change much we're going up to maybe the mid 40s for madison some of the areas further west might actually get closer to 50 just because of a little bit more sun but those winds remain quite strong we'll see a little bit of decrease in winds as we go later tonight but overall not much change with that even till tomorrow wind devices out for western areas i'll break down how much wind we'll see tomorrow and when we'll actually get back to more may like temperatures a bit later in the broadcast all right we'll check back greg thank you right Right now, a manhunt continues for the gunman behind a deadly mass shooting in Texas. Police say 38-year-old Francesco Oropesa killed five of his neighbors after being asked to stop firing his weapon in his front yard because a baby was trying to sleep. Deputies say the suspect had been drinking before he entered the home and started firing. Oropesa had previously been deported four times for entering the country illegally. Three women, a man and a nine-year-old were killed in the shooting. He says it's his property. He'll do whatever he pleases on his property. Investigators believe the suspect called a friend for help and are hoping an $80,000 reward will encourage someone to call in a tip. They say the suspect is armed and considered very dangerous and could be, quote, anywhere. In the third bank failure of the year, First Republic Bank and all of its deposits have been seized by regulators and sold to J.P. Morgan Chase. Rising interest rates devalued some of the First Republic's loans and investments. Then, depositors pulled more than $100 billion out of the bank over the first three months of this year. First Republic's collapse is expected to cost the FDIC about $13 billion takes control out of the Fed. The Fed is no longer in, in total control of slowing down the economy. They've now got the banking industry playing along with them. The recent bank failures and rising interest rates have forced other banks to make it harder for people and businesses to get loans. Interest rates could be hiked again this week when the Federal Reserve wraps up a two-day meeting on Wednesday. This month, the U.S. COVID-19 public health emergency officially ends. That means free COVID-19 tests are not guaranteed after May 11th. Pharmacies and other retailers still have home tests, and costs may be covered up front or reimbursed by insurance plans. The Food and Drug Administration has extended the expiration date for many home tests beyond what's on the box. So check the FDA website before throwing them out. 
King Charles's coronation is this Saturday, and classes are underway to teach people how to make the perfect coronation quiche. It's a dish the royal family is encouraging residents to serve as they celebrate the big event. It features spinach, broad beans, and tarragon. The tarragon was, yeah, very unique, very British, uh, celebrating the coronation like we should. I do like it. It was very good. Coronation quiche is a nod to the coronation chicken. That's a curry and mayonnaise-based dish invented for Queen Elizabeth when she was crowned back in 1953. You can find the recipe for coronation quiche on the royal family's official website, royal.uk. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Media companies could soon charge people to read articles they publish and why Adidas investors are now suing the company. Details coming up in the Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. We started with 50, and now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. We want to take out your old windows and install new Eco Sky windows, featuring Sky Mirror technology and insulated frames for superior energy efficiency. Call Mad City Windows, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for new Eco Sky windows. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, receive a free design consultation and lock your price in for one year. Plus, 30 homeowners who call now get special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. No interest and no payments till 2025. Senior military discounts. And if you call during this program, you get a free $50 Amazon gift card with your estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. McGann Furniture and Flooring has a question for you. Do you have a hard time sleeping comfortably through the night? Is your mattress 10 years old or even older? Chances are you're due for a new one. Mattress technology has changed a lot in the last 10 years. Our experienced staff will help you find the right style, construction, and firmness that will give you years of sleeping comfort. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. With delivery and disposal of your old set, we make it easy to have the bed of your dreams at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. This is Matt Gunderson. We recently celebrated the life of Margaret, who never let a cookie jar run empty. Her service was cookie-themed, with everyone enjoying her tasty treats. Allow us to personalize every detail of a life well-lived. Are record high energy and water costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive. While you may not ask for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to be without heat, water, or power for a hand up Apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.heat.help. Twitter CEO Elon Musk announced over the weekend that starting sometime this month, media companies could begin charging users to read articles they publish on the social media platform. This would allow users who do not want to pay for a full monthly subscription to pay a higher price per article when they only want access to some of an outlet's content. Musk calls it a win-win for media organizations and the public. Investors are suing Adidas over its Yeezy deal with Kanye West. Adidas cut ties with Ye in October after the rapper made a series of anti-Semitic remarks. In their suit filed Friday, shareholders allege the company knew about the risks of partnering with the rapper and failed to take precautionary measures. In February, Adidas said it expects to lose $1.3 billion in sales this year due to the Yeezy deal falling apart. And starting today, a little-known mortgage surcharge is getting an overhaul that could lower costs for borrowers with lower credit scores and increase them for some borrowers with stronger 
stronger credit scores. The new fee change will only affect some home buyers with mortgages backed by Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae and won't impact those who already own their home. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Matt Piper. Drought, hurricanes, and heavy... Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, here's stocks. I'm sorry. I'm ahead of myself. The Dow is up 113 points. The Nasdaq up 17 and a half. The S&P 500 up 16. Uh, 13, that is. Okay, I'm back. Drought, hurricanes, and heavy rains have hurt farms around the world, and now consumers are paying for it at the grocery store. In Florida, severe storms and crop disease are causing orange trees to drop fruit prematurely, which is also affecting the fruit's quality, raising prices on orange juice. In India, rain hurt sugarcane crops, sending sugar futures soaring. And floods earlier this year in California devastated all kinds of crops, from lettuce to strawberries, rising the price of produce. Is this a sort of the new normal with these uh, climate events that are happening worldwide? Sadly, yes. So I think this is the unfortunate, harsh reality of today's world. Supply chain expert Professor Penfield also says crop issues in the Midwest led to higher feed costs for ranchers, and many are now raising fewer cattle, which could shorten meat supplies. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Coming up, we'll have today's egg prices. Greg has the latest forecast. And then today on Live at Four, the 2023 NFL Draft is history. How did the Packers fare? We'll ask ESPN Madison to give them a grade. That's coming up at four. Dust and pollen can trigger an allergic reaction. If your old windows are letting the outside in, then call Mad City Windows. Get new Eco Sky windows with built in weather barriers. Minimize air leaks and create a healthier environment for your family. They did a good job, you know. No moisture or water coming in or nothing. And now we're looking for 30 homeowners who need new windows. The first 30 homeowners who call now will receive special savings. Free installation on a house full of new windows. No interest and no payments till 2025. Senior military discounts plus call during this program. We have a nice gift for you. A free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Beautyrest mattresses are assembled in Wisconsin. And right now, queens start at just $449. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffels special 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online today at Steinhoffels.com. I lowered these cramps. I better hope I don't have this baby on this beautiful couch. Oh my God. Megan, China is on our special Mother's Day show with a possible surprise guest. Plus, new mom, Leona Lewis. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Play games and win prizes to benefit survivors of domestic abuse. Tomorrow, Josh is in the 608 with a preview of Felicia's Donation Closet Casino Night. And you'll just have to hang on for another day. We do have some warmer weather in the forecast this week. Join us tomorrow between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report is off for the next few days. She'll be back on Thursday, so here are your farm numbers.
Well, how long will this rainy weather last? Greg is back <laughs> with the list. Not only wet, it's windy. It's windy, too. I mentioned uh, April 30, 1994, we had seven inches of snow on the ground. So it can get snow and cold even through the first part of May. But really, this is what you expect for May. Starting off with the mid-60s for the average temperature by the end of the month, we're to the low 70s. Okay, scream, 19 degrees, 1978. So, yes, we have over 100 degrees towards the end of the month, too. And you can get snow, 0.2, but that could be sleet, hail, pellets, and stuff like that, and overall three and a half inches. So that's what we should be. Unfortunately, we are not yet there. Really, if you look at this starts off Saturday shows you really the upper level of the atmosphere and this huge low that continues to spin through the eastern half and then you have a low off to the western U.S. right there so this is kind of what we call a blocking pattern where things don't really want to move that's why we're stuck with this for at least a couple more days till we start seeing some changes but you can quite see it continues to wrap up and pull wave after wave of a storm coming back through the area and then dig them further south so we're still going to be on influences for Tuesday, but it will begin to break down a little bit as we get towards Wednesday in the second half of the week. So temperatures really 40 to 50s probably through tomorrow. Seasonal more 60s as you get to Wednesday through the weekend, and we could hit 70, maybe a few spots Thursday, and another opportunity this weekend too. Once again, we should be in the mid 60s for average temperatures for precipitation. The rain kind of ends today really for Madison East. A few showers maybe Thursday or Friday with a weak wave, but I think we will have a chance for maybe some thunderstorms come the end of the week. We have a little bit more stronger system maybe approaching. We'll see if it holds off for the entire weekend or hits on Sunday. For the Time being, or that eastern half of the, uh, the Wisconsin is going to start seeing that precipitation come to an end. Otherwise, it's going to be the winds and the clouds. You can see some areas further west make it up to the mid 50s with a little bit more sun. We'll see really the skies begin to clear, scatter out a little bit overnight. We'll drop back down into the mid to upper 30s. Windy conditions continue, and then tomorrow, a few more breaks in the sun, especially in the morning come afternoon hours. We'll probably see the skies become, once again, mostly cloudy with uh, low clouds out there, maybe a shower or two. The winds will continue, may not quite be as strong, but with the added sun, we should see temperatures everywhere get back up into the 50s for most areas, maybe even mid to upper 50s further west with the lighter winds too. And then come Tuesday night into Wednesday is the one thing where we're gonna watch. Oops, let's go back there, we kind of skipped ahead of that. Tuesday night going into Wednesday is one of the areas we're going to have to watch for temperatures to get back down towards freezing because of the, temp, uh, the cloud cover that's going to be going away and then the winds will be lighting up. So it is getting that frost or freeze season, so something to keep in mind as you go towards Wednesday morning with those temperatures that should be, as we get closer to it, you can see getting closer down to about freezing as we get towards the morning hours once again. So that's the good news as we go back into a very comfortable Wednesday if you look at the seven-day Low 60s for Wednesday, we could get up to the mid to upper 60s as we go through Thursday and Friday. That weak little shower chance, that's very, very small chance we might see Thursday or Friday. Then we have breezier conditions. The weekend so far looks okay. I think thunderstorms come in at least Sunday night into Monday. That could be a little bit more into Sunday. We'll just wait and see. But overall, it won't be like this past weekend when we're steady in the 40s with rain and or snow, depending on where you were. Dear we say we've turned the corner? No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to say that. Not yet. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, you say that, it's going to come back and bite right. you nowhere. <laughs> you, you, exactly. All okay. right. Thank you, Greg. Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen now preparing an easy recipe for this first day of May. You know, April showers may bring May flowers, but you know what else they bring? An appetite for all-in-one meals that are quick and easy. Today's tasty recipe starts with a supermarket shortcut that I know you're going to love. Let me show you. The first thing we do is combine some chicken broth, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and a bit of black pepper over medium heat. We stir this until it melts and starts to thicken up. Then we add a package of frozen potato and onion pierogies that we boiled until they're tender. After everything is mixed, we pour this into a baking dish and pop it in the oven. And if you want to change it up, boy, do you have options, because you can always use a different cheese or try a different flavor pierogi. When this comes out of the oven bubbling hot, top it with some crumbled bacon and sliced scallions that call the troops to the table. It's so easy and versatile, you can use this as a fill-you-up main dish, or it makes the perfect go-along. To get the recipe for what we call our cheesy bacon pierogi bake, just go online. I'm Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a pierogi-licious kind of way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. 
All right, ahead of noon, Lisa Briggs with the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call, 608-270-9933. We'll get to your calls right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Whether you're motivated to replace your windows to save on energy costs, maybe improve the look of your home, or for easy maintenance at Mad City Windows, our exclusive Eco Sky Windows do it all. Beautiful windows that add style. They're energy efficient, easy to operate, and reduce outside noise. Remember to lock your price in with our price lock guarantee. And don't wait to call. We're looking for 30 homeowners now who need new windows. Receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. No interest and no payments till 2025. Senior military discounts plus last chance to call during this program for the free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616. That's 608-338-1616. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy, are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. As summer approaches, is your house ready? Over seven out of 10 homes are poorly insulated. Is yours? Here are some of the signs. Is your house too cold in the winter? Is it too hot in the summer? Does your furnace and AC run almost nonstop? Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Are your energy bills too high? You don't need a new home, you need better insulation. And right now during Home Improvement Month, our labor is free, but that ends May 31st. USA Insulation. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call is 608-270-9933. Let's go to the phones and we'll start with Lynn in Janesville. Hi, Lynn, what's your question? Hi, um, this Lisa, this Lynn. I'd like to know about planting my Easter lilies that I got for Easter. Their blossoms are finished, but now I want to know if I can plant them in the garden. Yeah, you can. You can, Lynn. Go ahead and clip those uh, spent flowers off. Put it in a sunny spot. They'll last for a couple of years here. They're not the most long-lived lily, but you'll be able to enjoy it in a sunny spot for a few years. Make sure it just has good drainage, so don't plant it in a wet spot. Yeah, I've, I've done it, and they last. My grandmother used to do that years. every year. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's gone. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Thank you. All You're right. Welcome. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Mary in Wanakee. Hi, Mary. What's your question? Hi, we're planning on laying sod, and we're wondering what is the best time to lay sod, and if Bruce Company does have sod. We usually get sod, Mary, around the first part of May, and it's weather dependent. And at the store, it comes in on Fridays, and we get a couple pallets, and when it's gone, it's gone. We haven't had plans yet to get it in. It's been awfully wet, so it's hard for the diggers to get in there and roll it out. But generally around mid-May is when, early to mid-May, depending on the weather. So give us a call the plant desk and um, we'll see when we're going to have it in. I don't know if it's going to be this week, but probably next week. And the secret... Like maybe around Mother's Day? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, okay great. All right. Thank you. And the key to it is watering it, right? Yes, and you need to water it every day till it knits. So when you peel back, usually after a week to 10 days, you try to peel it back on a corner. And if it's a little stuck, then it's ready. Okay. Let's go to Cheryl in Westville. Hi, Cheryl. What's your question? 
My question is, it's been so windy here, and I've been covering my tulip daylilies, my peonies, and bleeding hearts mm-hmm. at night because of the frost. But now it's so windy today. Should I just leave them covered, or should I uncover them? They're probably going to be fine, Cheryl. I haven't done anything to mine. I do cage mine, so the wind is less problematic with my peonies than maybe if they weren't caged. But they're fine, and if they get hit by a little bit of frost, it might cause some damage to the leaves, but it won't hurt them long term. Okay. So I should un- so I should uncover them. You can uncover them if you want to leave them covered because you don't want to go out in the blustery weather today. That's fine. You can remove them. Uh, tomorrow, but if the temperatures dip again, the weather gets nice and then dips again, you can leave them alone. Okay, okay. that's great. Thank you. You're All welcome. Right, thank you. Let's go to Roger in Verona. Hi, Roger. What's your question? Roger, you there? Yes. Go ahead. Hi. I've re- I bought a peony plant that arrived in a pot. It's about eight inches tall. Mm-hmm. When can I plant it outside? You can probably, since I don't know where it came from, if it's been indoors or was grown outdoors, so I would probably wait until the end of the month. Or I'm sorry, till the end of the week when the temperatures are a little better, and then go ahead and plant it outside. Make sure that you plant at the same level as the soil is in the pot, though. Don't put it Perfect. And how about roses? Same thing with roses. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're You're welcome. welcome. Thanks for calling. All right. Let's go to Pat in Madison. Hi, Pat. What's your question? Hi, I'm wondering about moving a hydrangea. Would this later this week be a good time to do that? For sure. You want to let the um, soil dry out just a little bit from all the rain that we've been having. Everybody is like super excited to plant things, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <It's> been... <laughs> but I would go ahead. I mean, at the garden center, we've stopped covering the trees and shrubs, and so they've been acclimated to the temps. So you can go ahead and do that. You want to leave like really tender annuals, you'd want to hold off until the nights are a little more steadily above 40. Tomatoes, you don't understand. Yeah, yet. tomatoes, basil, that kind of thing. Um, I would wait on most annuals, but perennials and uh, woody plants, you can go ahead and put them in now. Okay. We forgot to talk about your plant here. Yeah, so this is a caladium, which is a plant that's traditionally been a shady annual. It's a bulb, so you can lift it and save it. And there's been a shortage of bulbs because it hit the hurricane hit in Florida. But Lori told me that this caladium is actually for sun, oh. sun or shade. So it's a new group. Very pretty. Yeah. All right. If you're on the line, stay there. Lisa will talk to you off the air. We'll see you next week. Uh, yes. All right. I had to think for a minute. Here's Greg one <laughs> final check of the forecast. Yeah, the rain will end probably for areas that are eastern of the east of Dane County, while all areas will see cloudy conditions, windy conditions, and cold through tomorrow. 50s more tomorrow, so a little bit warmer. Dry looks like for Wednesday and beyond with warmer temperatures. There's your temperatures for tonight, tonight, and then for your temperatures, a slight increase with those temperatures tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Greg. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.